Hello, my graceful beauties. This is Sarah Grayson, where grace begins with you. Hello, I came back with a summer haul. A, um, not too big, a, a, a small summer haul. Some, some beautiful fragrances that I picked up that I had been, uh, I had my eye on, and I wanted to come in and share with you guys. Uh, my beauties the um fragrances that i was able to get my hands on so um without further ado maybe but before i get into the small the summer haul um i want to thank you for um coming back to join me i want for my um, subscribers and for my new subscribers I want to thank you for hanging in there with me please um, don't forget to like comment um, subscribe and share uh, my videos uh, and please don't um, hesitate to engage and tell me what you would like to see um, uh, just some uh, things that you um, would like to view or you know that you're interested in okay without further ado let's get into this summer haul the first fragrance I wind have flowers is... by Creed now this is a it's a beautiful floral perfume fragrance it's fresh it's floral it's it's zesty it has jasmine it has orange blossom it has a fruity peach note this is a 75 mil um let me get into the let me get into the notes the notes are the top notes are peach jasmine from india orange blossom the heart notes are or the middle notes are jasmine sandback tuberose absolute rose sandalwood from india and the base notes are bottom notes are praline iris orange blossom and musk notes now i was kind of on the fence about um, purchasing this fragrance I'm gonna move the light a little bit so it's not um, exactly on the fragrance just give it some light so it's not the ring light it's not shining right on it but um, I'm, I'm glad I did pick it up I really am I'm trying to branch out I'm a more of a musky um, woody fragrance tobacco type um person i love anything that's earthy woody um smoky tobacco anything that's th that's that type of amber i love that but i'm branching out i have a lot of florals and i'm trying to get more into florals musky florals and uh fruity fragrances this one is a good one you can smell the musk you can smell the orange blossom. It's just, it's zesty. It's uh, fresh. It has a fruity. It's powerful. It's very powerful. And most of the Creed fragrances are um, very powerful house. It's a very um, um, popular, fi you know, fragrance house, Creed. Um, it's, it can be warm. The sandalwood's a little flurry like flurry or fluffy or sandalwood is twisted around um the the iris and the musk comes in it, it's vibrant <laughs> you know it's vibrant it's um the, the praline is is creamy creamy it's like a dusky floral and it, it it's a very transparent as you see um fragrance it's a beautiful fragrance i even you know the bottle is beautiful it's a beautiful fragrance 
I'm glad that I was able to um, get my hands on the fragrance. I'm glad I added it to my collection and um, it'll be around for a long time. So this is Creed Windflowers. The next fragrance I have is from a favorite of mine. Um, I think I have almost all of <laughs> his fragrances. Um, and I enjoy all of the fragrances. Nicole. The next one. I Nicole Noir by Christian Dior. And I was able to what, what, what really, you know, what I really enjoyed. That's why I said it's good to look for some of these fragrances Some sometimes on the Macari app and Poshmark. Because some people have... Um, bottles that size that you may not be able to get on the website and you'll get it at a very good price so I've never seen this in a 40 mil on the Dior website so someone had it there and I was able to pick it up for a great price so I couldn't resist and I put my hands on it put my hands on it plus I wanted to add it to my collection now this one um, they say it is named after the estate of Christian Dior purchased after the estate Christian Dior purchased in 1951 so that's where the name comes from this one is a floral they say it's a spicy floral um, it's like a spicy May rose it has a strong character, but I don't get spicy. All I get is floral. It's another fragrance that I have that reminds me a lot of this fragrance, Le Col Noir. Um, they say that it's a, some of the notes are, if they say it's a rosy, peppery scent. Um, like I said, I really don't get the pepper um i don't get the pepper but let's get into the notes the notes are lemon in the top notes the middle notes are may rose spices peony lily of the valley black currant raspberry peach the base notes are white musk sandalwood amber alfrop and agarwood oud i don't even get the oud guys all i get is floral i get the may rose i get the peony i get the lily of the valley i get a, a bit of the fruit which is the raspberry because it gives it that a little bit of citrusy raspberry sweet peach not so much. I just get I get a burst of floral, a burst of flowers, like a bouquet of flowers or being in a flower garden. And that's what I get from it. But it's it's a beautiful if you're looking for something floral. I don't even get too much of the musk musk white musk that they say that is in it. I just get floral. So if you're looking something that's a a rosy burst of floral this would be it if you're a floral girl or a floral guy this is even nice for a guy because it's not it's not super feminine and a guy could really pull this off it's really nice it's a floral fragrance i'll wear it i love any of dior's christian dior's Privé line fragrances they're all well blended and they're all good to me Again, this is Nicole Noir by Christian Dior. The next fragrance I have, guys, is Mella fragrance, a, a, and it a, is a Juliet Has a Gun, and it's Vanilla Vibes. This one is a really aquatic vanilla. Uh, uh, it's dripping in vanilla. But it has an aquatic feel, a marine like aquatic feel. So it's beautiful. It's salty, it's powdery, it's sweet, 
it's amber, it's marine, it's woody, it's warm, a little spicy, warm, spicy, musky, and bals balsamic. This one is good. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. Um, it, it's just, it has that, but it, vanilla vibes is a great name and expression for this fragrance. It's beautiful. This one is a definitely a great summer scent, a beachy scent. It's 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 just it it's it's the the notes. Let me give you the notes. The top notes is salt. The middle notes are vanilla absolute and orchid. The base notes are taka bean, sandalwood, musk, and benzoin. It's a beautiful beautiful fragrance. It'll be in my collection for a long time. You know what this is too? It's a good mixer, guys. If you want something to blend, um, give you that summer beachy vibe feel. Juliet has a gun. Vanilla Vibes is it. You will be so happy with this fragrance. It's not offensive. It could even be a signature scent. Um, You can wear it in uh, winter and fall too because it will... um. It's not offensive. It's not super overpowering. It's just a beautiful, um, salty, vanilla, sweet, uh, musky, kind of milky scent. Yes, Juliet has the gun, vanilla vibes. And I have one more for you guys. It's another... Um, Juliet has a gun line and this one is I hope you can see it um, this one is I'll hold it over this way uh, Magnolia Bliss actually um, this one I just got recently recent recently um, and the main accords are it's floral citrus musky Fruity, fresh, amber, powdery, sweet, and aromatic. Um, I'll give you the notes. The top notes are bergamot, petite grain, which is some type of root flower, or, you know, like a root, um, or, you know, leaf herby vibe, lemon, ginger, nectarine, magnolia, fresia, or freesia, <laughs> whatever way you want to say it. Peony, green, gauge. Um, and Broxen, musk, tonka bean, and vanilla. This one is fruity to me. It's fruity. It's like um, a or you know, being out in an orchard. It's fruity. It's musky. It's a little, for me, it feels a little spicy. The reason why I say it feels a little spicy is because you're probably getting that little kick from the ginger, the lemon being citrusy, the ginger being a little, you know, spicy, um, and then you got the nectarine and the magnolia, then you have the musk and the tonka bean and the vanilla, and they sit at the base, so when it dry, or dries down, you get that nice, um, smooth, uh, earthy, musky, tonka wood, you know, tonka, excuse me, tonka bean, vanilla blend in the end. So it's like, you know, fruit or fruit pasture sitting on type, top of a sweet vanilla, um, earthy type of feel or aromatic type of feel but um this one is a good one good for good for a male you know to me it's kind of i'm gonna say this but to me it smells like it has a little bit of lavender because it can lean a, a just a tad bit masculine but it's still great for a, a woman um it to me it has a man can um, put this on and and feel great and confident in it 
a woman can put it on to just a little just it smells just like it has a little bit of lavender in it even though the notes doesn't say that but this is Juliet has a gun Magnolia Bliss and I'm uh, I'm really happy to have it in my collection I want to thank you guys for coming back to see me to visit me to being part of the Grayson family um, I would uh, appreciate if you would like comment and subscribe and share my videos don't forget about the drawing um, and the giveaway of the Kali Vanilla 28. I hope to see you soon. Please don't forget to comment if you like to see anything in particular. Want me to do a little um, extension on the fragrances that I have. And this is my summer haul, small little small summer haul. I want to come in and share with you guys. I hope you return. Many blessings. Stay graceful. Sarah Grayson, thank you and good night.